fastest growing sport in the country and one amateur player is living his dream playing the sport. Antoinette Essa introduces us to him and pickleball in tonight's A-list. <sighs> Boom! Steve Vasa comes to life on the court with a paddle and a ball. Okay, so when I come to a court and I hear the ball being hit, I gotta run out of the car. It's like, it's like a sort of like a good drug. It's very infectious and you just love to play. And when I come out to the court and play, I forget about all my troubles. An avid sports enthusiast, Vasa has been playing pickleball for over a decade, hooked after playing a few minutes. Now I play like four or five times a week and I play in tournaments. I have six tournaments I'm playing in in the next um, like three to four months. Good shot. It keeps you in shape. I'm 60 years old. Not bad, huh? <laughs> the retired civilian from the Department of Army gave up years of martial arts, bowling, and golf, all for pickleball. Oh, nice. Three years ago, I retired, and now I'm fulfilling my dream by playing pickleball all around the world, the country, and having a great time. It's fun. Oh, it, it went through your hair. Vasa will compete in the World Pickleball Tournament this weekend, the largest non-sanctioned amateur pickleball series in the country, then travel abroad to compete. Pickleball is played by millions in the U.S. and worldwide. The game was created in 1965 in Washington State by three dads looking for something fun for their kids. It's a combination of like tennis, ping pong, and badminton. It uses a paddle instead of a racket and a uh, little plastic ball. It's like a wiffle ball. And um, it's very similar to tennis where you score points on your serve. No! Good try, good try. Generally a doubles game, it's open to singles, to standing and wheelchair players, can be played inside or outdoors, and the court is about half the size of a tennis court and anyone can play from young people all the way up to uh, you know senior citizens. Uh, it's becoming more mainstream even for the younger players. There's tournaments uh, popping up all across the country, all around the world. Um, it is the fastest growing sport in the United States. Oh. With worldwide appeal, Vasa would like to see the sport in the Olympics. It is not yet, but we're hoping one day it will be. I, I mean, they have cornhole. Three, seven, on two. One search on Facebook and you'll find several pickleball clubs. Vasa is with the Chesterfield Pickleball Group and wants others to join him. They just come out here to Ponce Track any, any uh, morning, afternoon or night and there's people out here and just come on out and just say, hey, I'm, I want to learn or I want to play and we'll, we'll invite you in. The Richmond Pickleball Classic, sponsored by the World Pickleball Tour, runs through Sunday here at Ponce Track Park. It is free to come and watch. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website. That's WTVR.com.